Welcome back to Out of the Rough. I'm joined by my good friend Alex Urbina. Alex Urbina is a soon-to-be author um, and a transform transformational life coach, but you love working with youth. So let's just jump right into okay. that. Okay. You get a youth in a room where you're having a discussion or a presentation to them. What happens in that training room when you're working with uh, youth one-on-one? -on -one? And many of these youth have had challenges in their lives. Yeah, you know what's amazing is that uh, when I get a, a, a group of about 40 kids in a training room, none of them know each other. And they all walk in with their egos. They got their hoodies on, their glasses. They're, you know, they're, do they're playing their game. And a little bit at a time, what my job is to do is to chip away at that and remind them that that's not who they are. So I'm constantly dropping seeds to the whole training. I'm enrolling them into believing um, in a persona that they're bigger than. And so what happens is at a certain point, the first hour or two, I hook their heart. And now they want to believe what I'm speaking into. They want to see themselves the way that I'm painting that picture for them. And all of a sudden, they, they, the whole team starts to become um, connected. And they become this one unit that wants to strive for that greatness. And so what I do is I put them in that training room. I talk a little bit about different concepts, about taking responsibility for your life and personal power. And then I mix it up with experiential exercises. We play some games. They cry. They, they do some reflection. They take some notes. Um, and it's a, just an interwoven, powerful experience where we wake these kids up. You know, one thing that I know you do a lot of is the parents aren't in there. And so they're able to open up in ways that never opened up before. That's correct. That's right. Let's talk about that. Well, my way of um, just being loving and neutral and non judgmental, as well as being funny and kind of meeting them where they're at, uh, creates a safe space for them to share. You'll be amazed how many kids are going to sleep at night. And I'm talking about from the at risk kids to the Leadership Academy kids. They go to sleep at night and they cry. They cry themselves to sleep. Um, they're depressed. They have insecurities. And they might have had a great childhood, but their parents have no idea, no idea. And so year after year, for the last 18 years, I'm in training rooms with kids from all over the world when I go to different cities, and, and they're having the same experiences. They're sharing the same uh, uh, frustrations, the same anger, the resentments that they've been creating. So I, I look at my training now as like a healing moment, an empowering moment. But you'll be surprised if you came in and sat in or in the corner of the room and, uh, and hear some of their stories. It's it's. It's profound. Yeah, very touching. Sounds like to me, sometimes the parents are the ones that need some of the training in order <laughs> to create an environment where their kids can express themselves. Well, those kids are products of those environments. Okay. And, you know, like I said earlier in the earlier segment, as parents, sometimes we forget what our job is for our kids. We have to, um, and our kids are growing and they're being, they're, they're smarter than us. We have to, you know, jump ahead of that curve and, and develop the emotional intelligence to be that space to be the capacity for our kids to grow inside. If our kids, if we're not, if we're small and our kids grow outside of us, they're going to move on and, and there's going to be a disconnection there. You know, you think a lot of things as a father, me, hugging your children, opening the door for your children, listening to them, asking them at the end of the day, how was your day? Did you learn anything in school that you would like me to expand upon? Um, it, there's so many things we can ask because sometimes we forget to do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. We get distracted. You know, Facebook, you know, there's so many different distractions. There's uh, just worrying about bills, um, you know, uh, worrying about things that, that aren't really that important. Um, our kids are important, and that's, I think, the magic behind um, being a conscious dad or a conscious mom is, um, is being authentic and creating that safe, loving place for your kids to open up and share so that you guys can grow together. I think that's the key. Uh, good example, real quick. Um, I, I was sharing with Alex that I was having a challenge with, with my kids fighting. And he said, well, just change it up. Tell them if they don't stop fighting, you're going to kiss them. Kiss them on the forehead and embarrass them. And then <laughs> that worked more than yelling at them, right? Yeah. It just you know, changed the paradigm. Yeah, be playful and, uh, and show up different. Your kids have you already in a box. You ever heard of being parent deaf? You know, your kids, uh, at a certain point, they get parent deaf because you've been doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. But if you show up differently, if you're being differently, uh, you might hook their heart and bring them in closer to you. Now you can empower them. Now you got their ear. Yeah, hooking their heart. Alex or Bina, uh, uh, reach out. Phone number again. Six six one five zero five five zero two one. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex or Bina, life leadership. Uh, also soon to be author of uh, of the conscious the dad. conscious dad. Yeah. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Appreciate Absolutely. It. Hope you enjoyed this edition of Out of the Rough. We're going to jump to a quick break and we'll be right back.